trashy. That's it, man. All my anxiety is gone. Oh man, that oh, tastes fuck. like so much regret. That tastes like I don't even know how to describe that. It's gonna take me a while to to understand what I just put in my mouth. So, hello everybody. Welcome to a whole lot of nothing, episode number three um, and four. We're gonna try and go for a two for today. Um, those delicious cans you just heard opening were the four locos. Uh, I'm here, joined by my co-host Frankie. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I made sure not to get him lemonade since that was his um, terrible experience in the past. So he has fruit punch, and I just have four loco black. I'm still trying to figure out what that is. I I don't know. So, it's it's green. The liquid is green. Okay. Well, you're. Yeah, your wife is wrong. It's definitely not Chihuahua sperm. It is now turtle Ooh, sperm. It might be Chihuahua piss. Piss? Oh. So, oh. you know, I, I when I cracked it open and had my, my sip of Fort Loco, it tastes just how I remember it. So there's something in there that is just bringing back those memories, and I'm already <clears> scared. <throat> Premium malt beverage with natural flavor, certified color, and FDNC yellow number five. That... That does not reassure me very much. No, it uh, and I looked online um, to, to see kind of the different flavors. Oh, and um, it said black was just kind of, it, it gave a very brief description, but it said specifically that they would not say what the flavor is. So I'm wondering if this was just some kind of concoction they worked up and they were just like, drink it. Drink it. <laughs> when, when we know you're gonna buy it. And then they're like, add more alcohol. Because, dude, I don't you know about, like, <laughs> about you, but like every time I go in for another drink, like my throat just doesn't like it's just like wants to reject it <laughs> a little bit. Like at first, it's like it it enters as an energy drink, and then, oh, and then I taste the alcohol, and my body's like, no, this is not what I thought. This is not what I thought at all. Yeah, no, I've been fearing this for like the whole week. Like, I'm just like, yeah, two, well, two weeks. Yeah, because, two weeks. Yeah. So those of you who are, are catching up, um, life got in the way last week. Uh, we had different things going on, so that's why we're doubling up this week. So we're not we're not just trying to avoid the loco. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Oh, it's happening right now. It is, and my plan. I don't know if you want to stick to this because you've had experience with the four loco, but. I want to finish this by the 30 minute mark. And we I am, can. I'm pretty sure we can, but just remember, I was not true. of age when I drank my four loco. True, but <laughs> I'm just starting to realize how difficult this is going to be. Right? Uh, <laughs> like, I'm going to be honest with you, like, it kind of tastes good, oh. but there's just that, that hint of something that is taking me back to the day where I died on that table. And I, I can, I mean, you could just taste the alcohol. Like, I, you know, beer, five or six percent probably. This is. 14 percent well yours because you wanted to go big <laughs> big and black that's the way i like them <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah i mean this is a toss away from liquor basically so um also we're joined today by my white cat luna who is asleep um so i was thinking <laughs> because you were you were you were briefly telling me um so you you don't believe in any kind of religion whatsoever, do you? Nope, none whatsoever. So how do you feel when your daughter told you, well, who is God? Uh, yeah, um, it was kind of weird. I was kind of uh, caught off guard. We were sitting there eating dinner, and she just kind of turned over to me, and she was like, Dad, um, I need, I, I want to know more about God. She's like, I, I don't know anything about God. And I'm like, uh... Uh, me neither. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been kind of set in my ways for a while now. There was a while when I tried to be religious. I was like, yeah, I can do this. I believe in God. And it, it just got to the point where I was like, no, nah, I, I can't. I'm, I don't believe. Like, I don't know. Trying to force yourself to believe in something and it just doesn't work. Um, so I've been set in my ways that I just don't believe anymore. So I kind of didn't expect that from her. And I'm like, uh, crap. So, so I gave her like a, a 
basic rundown, I guess. I was like, some people believe that he created everything, that he, you know, helps you in your day to day, and you know, if you're having a hard time, he can help you find strength. And then I, I kind of went into, it. I was like, but that's just what some people believe. I was like, me, I don't believe God exists, and that's Ooh. okay. And I wasn't really sure if I wanted to tell her that, but I kind of bridged into something else. I was like, you know, I don't believe in God. You do believe in God, and that's okay. And your mom kind of believes in God, and that's okay. Different people believe different things, and we can talk about it, and that's fine. And she's like, okay. And she's like, I want you to believe in God. And I'm like, well... I'm like, we can talk about that some other time. <laughs> and then I think even, she, she didn't really bring it up again until later that night. She was just like, please, Dad, believe in God. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll try. <laughs> and I'm just, I, I don't know. I, I don't even know where she heard about this. I, I don't know what kind of exposure she has to religion. I don't really understand where it came from, but... And she's growing up. She's going to start talking about this stuff to her friends and, and all sorts of stuff, so. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, kudos to your to your answer. That was a pretty good one. Oh, yeah. I was 100% bullshitting. I didn't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> and I never remember, honestly, having that conversation with my parents. Like, to this day, I'm not really sure. I think my dad doesn't believe, but my mom, I don't know. I know her parents were Baptist, like pretty hardcore. They went to church every single Sunday, but I don't know if that means she is or what. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's just kind of one of those things where you, know, you figure it out on your own. Yeah, and, and I mean, honestly, that's what I'm okay with. I, I would love to get her exposed enough to where she can just make her own decisions and then go from there. You know, if she wants to believe in God, who am I to say? that she shouldn't I'm not one of those cynical atheists that's going to be like no religion's terrible you need to not be a part of it I'm just like whatever what, what you believe yeah no that's that's a good one that's crazy though because like I think about it from time to time I'm like me me and Ben we're not too far apart in age to where it's it's a big deal right it feels far oh yeah but dude like we talk about it all the time well not all the time we like to bring it up like key events in, in history that we've been alive for it, and we're just in two different parts yeah. of growing up during those time periods. Yeah, no, tell me about it because what the first one we talked about was, or one of the ones we talked about was 9 11. Yeah, and I was in sixth grade, you were, I think I was in kindergarten. Fuck, yeah, and that feels like a huge difference. Like, because I remember, um. I was walking and like it's one of those things where you remember almost everything about that day like yeah I remember I was walking from second period English to third period science and I walked by the library and they had like windows and I looked in and I could see a TV and just a bunch of like fireballs and stuff and I'm like oh okay that's weird like they must be watching a movie or something and then getting to my third period class and the teacher wasn't there and we're just like, okay, like maybe she had to go do something and take care of something. And um, we sat there for like, it felt like probably 20 minutes, I don't know, in sixth grade. So I, my memory wasn't too great. But I mean, it's just like, I remember sitting there for probably, it had to be like half the period. And then finally the teacher coming back and she's like, hey kids, something happened. You know, we're, we'll, we'll talk to you, but you know, classes may be a little less. Yeah, you know, we're not going to stick to the criteria today. Um, and then later that day, they pulled us into the auditorium and kind of told us, like, hey, there's been a, this attack in New York City. And, of course, me and my friends were like, we're in Texas. Who cares? Like, what? <laughs> Why does... That's, like, on the other side of the country. What impact does that have on us? And it wasn't really until I got home that day and I was watching the, mo the news with my mom and, like, seeing the planes crash into a building. I was just like, holy shit. Yeah. But I, I remember very clearly, like, it was the turning point. Like, it was very, very weird. Yeah, like, <laughs> for me, I, I don't really <clears throat> remember much. I just, I guess because they hid it from us so well during the day because we're, we're children. Yeah. And but, it's like, what do you fucking do as a teacher? Yeah. It's like, hey, we're being attacked. Yeah. Everything's fine, kids. Like, yeah, so I, I don't have any memories of, of what was going on during school, but I do remember, like, getting home. It's going to hurt your drink. Yeah. Oh, they're black. 
Yeah, we got 20 minutes. Fuck. <laughs> but yeah, dude, no, like I just remember, I remember that day starting off like as soon as I walked in from, from school. Yeah. Cause I didn't live too far. I actually had to walk. Wow. Yeah, it was just like literally up the street. I, I worked in my elementary school, but like, yeah, middle school I had a big class. Yeah. But uh, I remember walking into my house and my mom was on the phone. She was crying. I remember that vividly. And she wouldn't tell me. She just said, go play with your toys. So I was like, okay. So I went to go play with my toys. Well, you walked in kindergarten? Yeah, dude. I'm like, I'm not kidding. Like, okay. Well, I mean, because my daughter's in kindergarten right now. I wouldn't fucking let her walk anywhere. Yeah, it's crazy, right? <laughs> thinking about it. But it's <laughs> small town living. Oh, okay, okay. Small town living. Yeah. So I lived on this, like, uh, street where it was, like, a bunch of duplexes. Mm. And I wasn't the only kid walking in the morning, of course. Excuse me. So I, I play with everyone. Excuse me. You're good. It's going to happen. Yeah, time. I know, dude. I've been fighting him this whole time. I'm but, just um, going to let him rip from now on, just for the podcast. Do it. I'm just going to. We regret nothing. I. Yes, we regret nothing until the next episode. Cheers, by the way. Yeah, cheers, dude. Anyway. Oh. Oh, this is I, so unpleasant. I really have no idea what that flavor is. Like, it tastes like alcohol, but uh, then the, the fruit punch comes in. <laughs> so it's not too bad. No, mine starts off nice. Like, it's almost like, um, what was that energy drink that Coke made? Full throttle. It's almost like full throttle and then alcohol afterwards. It's like, if you just added rum was it Coke to full that throttle. One? I think that's the one. Um, or am I thinking of... I think you know, a different one. I don't, well, there was also Rockstar. The vault. Right? Vault. I think the Mountain Dew was vault. that one. Yeah, no, Mountain, Mountain Dew was Vault. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, next week, what I'm thinking is we should get some balls, energy drinks, and, and maybe just not drink <laughs> alcohol. Drink, we're, so we're going we'll, to... We're gonna we'll take a break. <laughs> examine the flavor of balls next week? Yes. Um, they have. I've tried cherry balls. Um, the original balls it comes in a blue bottle, so it yeah. is blue balls. Yeah. Uh, then they have like ginger balls and a few uh, co- balls cola and stuff like this. So. I've had balls before. Balls is very tasty. Which is pretty good. Sorry, and it's ball. weird that it comes in a glass bottle. I know, and that's one of the reasons that first drew me to it. I was like, this is a cool energy drink. It's in a glass bottle. I feel fancy. But, while killing your kidneys yeah no oh jesus christ i know we're like way off of what we were just talking about but in high school um i used to actively seek out energy drinks like different types of energy drinks um because i had my first energy drink when i was like a sophomore yeah um i had a red bull and it just blew my mind i was like this is disgusting and then by the end of the can i'm like this is the best drink i've ever had in my life Yo, dude, that um, was my first energy drink, too. <laughs> and, and then after that, it was like nonstop. I had to find more energy drinks. And I, I think by the time I finally realized, I was like, okay, this is getting bad. Because I, I would clean out the cans and collect them. I had like 110 different types in my room. Like I had them all stacked up on a shelf. Like that was my collection of energy drinks. And your parents were okay with this? They did not even care. They actually helped me at one point because I did a photo contest for an energy drink called Buku. Um, <laughs> and it actually came in a can about this size, which is, doesn't even say the size. It's, what is it? Like a 24 ounce, something like a, a huge, a big yeah. can like that. Um, and so I entered a photo contest that they were having and basically I did like the perspective thing where the can is really close to the camera and I'm really far away but it looks like the can is as tall as I am and then I'm like leaning up on the can. Um, so I sent that out to them and I won and they sent me two 32 packs of Buku and I drank all of it on my own and it was around that time that I was like holy shit I'm going to die. <laughs> Dude, no. <laughs> Do you remember Monsters making a, a drink called BFC? I don't remember that. Well, literally it stands for Big Freaking Can. So it was huge. Like, Ooh. I don't know if like my memory is hazy, but I think the BFC cans are bigger oh. than the Four Locos. Damn. Yeah, so I remember my friend uh, back in high school, he drank one one day and I was like, I want that. Because it was just a lot of monster, and that was like I think that was like my favorite go-to during high school. So one day he was just like, "Yeah, dude, uh, trade me Kool-Aid for this," and I was like, "Kool-Aid for a monster can?" He's like, "Yeah." 
So, all Sweet. right. That's a good deal. So I gave him Kool-Aid for this BFC, and I remember looking it up, and I think it said there was like 30 cans of Monster in there. 30? Or three. Three. Okay. There's three cans, and <clears throat> I specifically remember looking up how many monsters it took to die, <laughs> because I was planning on drinking that whole thing. In oh, shit. And I did. No, you didn't have to drink a ton. But yeah, you so have to drink did, like a pack. How did How did you do? I cleaned the entire house and I stayed up for that whole weekend. That's impressive. I'm kidding. I probably stayed up till like Sunday afternoon-ish because I drank it Friday <gasps> as soon as I got home. Oh, there we go. Let rip. Yeah, dude. Uh, I'm sorry to anybody who's listening. Be prepared for more of those. I'm just, I'm not going to hold back. Yeah, if you feel all. offended... If you keep feel listening. offended, you're listening to the wrong fucking podcast. No, no, keep listening. <laughs> we, we value every single one of you. We, we do. Um, absolutely, we value everybody who listens to this, even though right now it's mostly people we know. <laughs> Which yeah. makes it even more interesting. It does. Uh, yeah, but, and, you know, to be honest with you, like, this whole thing is weird, like, trying to, like, get the podcast out there. Right. Because, like, I want to tell everyone, but at the, at the same time, I'm like, I don't want a lot of these people knowing... Me. Who I really yeah. am. And, and it's like, we're not really holding back when we talk. I mean, I mean shit, alone this episode, we've talked about God and, and 9-11. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Um, but no, this is not information that I would normally share with somebody. Just like, but, but for me, it's a different perspective. Being in a manager position, I don't want to tell people shit. Like, yeah, see, it's so, I'm already secretive as is. I don't like a lot of people knowing my business. Yeah. So it's just like, uh, but then I'm like. And, and yeah, even then, like outside of work, I have a few close friends that I hang out with. But even then, like we usually just goof off. Like last night I went out uh, with my friend Matt and we played Pokemon Go. Like we're not talking about anything. <laughs> we're not talking about shit. We're just like, hey, check it out. There's an Oddish over there. Let's go get it. And stuff like that, you know, and we just hung out for like four hours. But that is a little weird because here we're, we're, we're kind of letting stuff go and then people listen to it. Yeah. Well, complete strangers, hopefully. Hopefully. If, if like the, what, like the 20 <laughs> views that we get on the video are strangers. Yeah. And, and I know you don't want to look at it, but I'll let you know. We're up to, on the first one. Uh, that one sucked. Um, on the first episode, we're like to 46 views. No way. And the second one's like at 25. I don't know who the fuck is watching this thing, but hey. Right. No, that's weird because I like, can remember that, that test. All right. <laughs> at least it wasn't the phone that we were recording with. I know. Um, I apologize for that loud thunk. Um... That was just the sound of his dick hitting the floor. Oh. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. I needed that. I already feel the, the black in me. Do you? Just it, see me I out. really do. This tastes like garbage, but it makes me feel like a rock star. Yeah, dude, you've been drinking it this whole time, and I realize that I have now 10 minutes to catch up to you. Okay. It's one of those things where I like to do... Uh, I like to do the difficult thing first. So that the rest of it is just, you know, easy riding. That's my work ethic. Yeah. We, we can talk about that. And so, like, I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. So, um, that's, like, my whole philosophy when it comes to working on anything. Like, it, whether it's chores, whether it's, like, daily tasks or actually at work. is like, find the thing that's going to be the hardest. Find the thing that you don't want to do and do it first. Clocking in. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right it's all downhill from here like, exactly and, and then just everything else it gets progressively easier like just rank things from hardest to least hardest and by the end of the day because the end of the day is damn oh damn you just check that at the end of the day is when you don't want to do shit and it's like if that's when you've got the easy stuff to do then you're going I but, just do shit, get it out of the way. That way I can be lazy again. That too. So I'm going to be honest with you, man. Like this morning, I was like, I woke up because I can't even freaking sleep in on my days off and it drives me nuts. So I woke up at six this morning. Holy shit. Right? That sounds off. Yeah. So I'm waking up at six. My mom's leaving for work and I was like, all right, well, I guess I'm going to go get my stuff done. That way Sunday, because Sundays are our family laundry day. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's like my Saturday. Yeah, so I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to get all this stuff done before Sunday because I know Sunday everything's going to just be waiting for the last minute. And I don't, I don't like doing that. 
<laughs> so yeah, I did all my running around this morning. And then so much peaceful, like it's just more peaceful going out into town before the sun comes up. Oh, no, I, I completely agree. Well, I mean, before it's fully up. Yeah. It is like partially up. It's yeah, still, it's, it's, that, yeah. Like that morning twilight. Oh, fuck. Yeah, dude, I'm, uh, mm, this is gonna be. And, and I just read the back. It says serving size, five fluid ounces. Servings per container, four and three quarters. So basically five. So that's like what? 25, yeah, 25 ounces yeah, of alcohol. Um, okay, so I, I'm i going to apologize to our listeners because I'm already feeling this and we're barely, I don't even think we're 20 minutes in yet. So. 23.5 fluid ounces in here. 23. How could I not find that on it's my It's right underneath the malt, the premium malt. 23, there it is. I remember looking at that and reading that. You know what? I kind of want to look at the BFC size because I don't remember if it's bigger because I want to say it's bigger than that. <laughs> this real size matters. Um, so, okay. So, you would walk to school. We're, we're going to circle all the way back. So, you'd walk to school with your friends in kindergarten, but they they shielded you from most of that stuff. Yeah, oh yeah, we were talking about yeah. how I would walk to school and you were like, what are your fucking nuts? Kindergarten. Yeah, at fucking kindergarten. So like, it was like, okay, I don't know how to explain this, but like, literally the school was across the street, like, so there was a school across the street, and then like, when you crossed, there was like this uh, daycare, and okay. then like, right down the road, I lived in like, this duplex. So like, literally the, the elementary school was in walking distance. So, that's awesome. No, it's not. I I mean, I think that's awesome. No, because it's, it's fucking hot during the summer, dude. And I remember complaining well, yeah. a lot for my mom to pick me up. She's like, are you kidding me? The school's right there. I'm not going to pick you up. Could, could, could you see the school from your house? Yeah. Okay, then yeah. Yeah. But come on, dude. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like five. <laughs> Get off my back. Dad. True. Okay, yeah. Five. Yeah. Six, you can stop being a pussy. That's what I'm going to tell my daughter on her birthday is six six years old it's coming up this August it's time to man up shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> I won't do that no no um you should start off with saying it's not real oh shit it, and you know what her dick little cousin already tried to pull that shit and tell her that Santa Claus is not real the tooth fairy is not real like basically spill veins on everything I'm like well, oh. why didn't you at least throw God in there um, <laughs> <laughs> at least get that one out of the way for me, Jen. Shit. Um, no, um, and of course I have to put on that face and be like, no, like, do you believe? And she's like, yes. And I'm like, all right, well then he's real. Thirty-two ounces, Ben, of monster. Jesus Christ. Okay, so that's bigger than a four loco. Yeah. See, I told you it was in my little tiny or tiny child hand. Fucking. <laughs> it was. It was actually... Can you look up the size of a Buku energy drink? What the fuck is a Buku? B-O-O-K-O. It means big in some other language. I don't fucking know. Um, damn. It, it, and, like, from here to my daughter's school is only about a mile. But I cannot imagine having her walk every day. Like, that would blow my mind. And, and, and then again, she has to cross a major, like, highway, too. So that probably wouldn't go well. But, all right, I mean, hey, Buku is still being made, dude. Fuck, we gotta get some Buku. I think. Or see where we can get some Buku. This has just become like a huge advertisement for energy drinks, except we don't get paid for it. Um, is that is that a Buku? That's right? a Buku. Um, I'll try and throw a Buku in the video so that anybody listening can can check that out. It's this huge black can. It's got like flame, orange flames going up, and it says Buku in the background. It definitely looks like an energy drink. That energy. brings back memories, dude. I drank so many Bukus. And it honestly it wasn't even one of the better energy drinks. It was just because I got 64 Bukus for free. Well, shit, like at that point, I drink whatever and I, you gave me. I was like, for, well, that many. Yeah, I had to be 16 or 17 years old. I was like fucking losing my mind. So. So yeah, you're you're how old? Twenty two. Twenty two. I turned twenty three. I turned twenty three next month. Next in May? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it like twenty two, twenty three feels so far away. 
You didn't have your first kid yet, right? Uh, like just, ba- just barely. Just barely? Yeah, because I'm, I'm 28 now. Yeah. And she's five and a half. She's turning six in August. Oh my God. Um, like a four minutes, dude. Yeah, so, oh fuck. Let me see. Well, no, 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 no. I started recording a little bit already. So we, we've got more like eight minutes. Eight minutes to finish this shit. Yeah, you have so much. No, here, like, feel it. You have so much more than I do. Oh, yours is heavier than mine. Yeah, I got like half a can. I'm already like, oh, I don't want to finish it anymore. <laughs> Uh, I, you know, my train of thought was I'm a bigger guy. I, I need more alcohol, but now I'm half, you know, hard time opening my eyes. This shit hits hard, man. Like, four locos. Have you eaten yet? I have, and I've eaten plenty today. I've eaten, I, I woke up way before my wife, and I had a bowl of cereal, Reese's Pieces. Fucking awesome. I love that shit. And then she woke up, and she's like, I really want to make red enchiladas. And then she's like, no, I don't want it red enchiladas. I want chilaquiles. And I'm chilaquiles like, are so good. Fuck yes. Get me in on that shit. And we had some beans and rice from the other night. So we had beans, rice, chilaquiles, and then she threw an over easy egg on top. And Hell yeah, dude. I remember why I was married in the first place. She makes the best fucking food. And that's drunk me talking. So I don't know it's good. Wait, no. It's good. If yeah, you're talking it, about it, it, it's good. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Um, and then when you said you were going to grab some food, then I made myself a little sandwich with some Black Forest ham. And I've been drinking a lot of water today, too. See, I'm no, that's like... not me, dude. I, um, I've been running around and I haven't eaten yet because I don't eat breakfast often. Yeah. Because I, for some reason, I just don't like breakfast. Like, I, eggs, just, I don't mm. Really? Like, any eggs? Okay, so... Uh, Growing up with my mom and dad, um, my dad was like the one that was cooking for breakfast all the time. So it was like I always had breakfast. Hmm. And then when I lived on my own, like I just realized like I, how much I don't like breakfast. <laughs> I and you know like, it's I weird the food or is it like a I, sentimental thing? Like it just brings no, you back. No, there's absolutely nothing. I remember one day I made myself some like scrambled eggs, and I was just like, I fucking hate breakfast. Or what about like cereal? Cereal is okay, but I prefer it during like nighttime. Is that weird? I've had, no, I've had night cereal. Night cereal is good. Night cereal is good. When like when it's like 10 p.m. and you're like, I could eat some cereal. Yeah, and yeah. Like, and then you eat it and you're like, oh fuck yes. Speaking of cereal, you, you got you have Reese's puffs. We what have Reese's want, puffs, dude. dude. My my wife, I could go on for hours about my wife. So I'm sorry if my mom, in the off chance that you ever hear this, but you made. Tell no, 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 no regrets. <laughs> no regrets, man. You tell her. You made some shitty white people food. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, Miss Macon. I apologize. <laughs> I didn't influence him. That came from the bottom of his heart. One of the first things my wife ever made me when we started dating was green enchilada casserole, which is basically just green enchiladas, but kind of thrown into a dish, not rolled up or anything. Um... And I'm looking at this thing. I've only ever had red enchiladas from like a restaurant. And I just see green sauce and tortillas and cheese. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Deliciousness is what I is. took the first bite. And I swear to God, it was like the scene from Ratatouille. I'm having like flashbacks to the first time I jerked off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is a moment in my life that I will never forget. And it... I mean, they say the quickest way to a man's heart is his stomach. It's so true. And she grabbed me by the dick, dude. I was, it was so good. And I was a lot thinner when I met her. <laughs> oh, so you didn't get that by having kids. <laughs> I mean, it was a combination of her cooking and, of course, having kids, too. Like, it, I love her food. And, like, it blows my mind sometimes. She'll go in with, like, no plan. She's like, I want to make this, but I've never made it before. And then she just throws something together, and it's like the best fucking food I've ever had. And and I even mess with her, too. I'm just like, I'm mad at you. And she's like, why? And I'm like, because you've never made this for me before. We've been together for years. What the fuck? (laughs) Dude, Man, I sound like, I feel like I'm getting belligerent. You are. I am? It's no, it's cool though. No regrets, dude. No regrets. Whatever. Not until now. Uh, so basically, out of this podcast, is what I'm getting getting from this conversation here is that your wife made you her bitch by grabbing you by the dick and like, this is mine now. Yeah, absolutely. With with her cooking abilities. Yeah. No, I mean I don't blame you, dude. Because and I mean, yeah, like I had never had good like Mexican food 
Which is weird because you're in a very Hispanic, like, more Hispanic populated area. Yeah, and, and like, honestly, like, I dated mostly Hispanic chicks, too, growing up. Like, I, I probably only dated, like, one or two white chicks. Excuse me. One black chick. And, and like, honestly, I can't remember any of their food being good. Like, the, the one of the girlfriends that I was with the longest before I met my wife, crazy bitch. Uh, <laughs> um... I remember her mom, the best thing she could make was like fried chicken. Hey man, that's a tough skill to master. No, no, I mean, it was good, don't get me wrong, but it was not like Mexican food like we have here. There was like a fuzzy flying around my nose. Oh, I thought you were, I don't know. No, dude, I I swear I'm being attacked by fuzzy right now. I wasn't just swinging my hands all frantically for no reason. Yeah. Um, Yeah, so I'm, I, I love eating food. It's you know, nice. too, same, same. And it sucks because I started dieting a little bit. Yeah. And I, I'm doing, like, portion controls and whatever. You right. know, salads and, like, I I remember being happy and that was when I was fatter. Yeah. And, I mean, I, I've been fatter and I was not happy. And I'm okay with, with admitting that. Like, And that was actually my last job um, that I left. Excuse me. Before the current job, which we won't talk about. But um, at my last job, I was... 30 pounds heavier than I am now and I didn't really realize it was more like an unhappiness thing because I'm totally a stress eater I don't know if that's something like in my family or like just me like if I get stressed out I'll eat and I was eating a lot I was drinking a lot and I was also smoking well not smoking per se I was using like the vapes oh okay um and then when I quit I stopped doing all of that. Like I stopped drinking, I stopped smoking, and I lost like 30 pounds in like a month and a half. And yeah, it was all portion control. Like I was still eating stuff that I liked, I was just eating less of it. And then one day I was like, holy shit, like I was really unhappy at that job. And, and now I'm, I'm just over it. I can dick around, I can learn how to do stuff. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, portion control, losing weight is hard. Um, but I, what I liked was, because obviously I'm going to lose more weight, but um, I was listening to the podcast, the h 3 h 3 podcast with the Epic Mealtime guy, and he lost a lot of weight. Oh yeah, he's super fit now. Yeah, and one of the things he was saying that really hit home with me is he's like, you know, I must have tried and failed a thousand times. And then finally one time I just kept going. And, and that's how he is where he is now. And so, I mean, like, because I've done that, too. I don't, I don't know if you've gone through that yet, but, I mean, it's just, like, you'll try something, and then you quit, like, a month in, and then you're like, fuck, I'm a goddamn film. Dude, that's my life. <laughs> 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 I try to quit. <laughs> no, um, I don't know. It's sticking this time around. Hopefully, I just keep losing it. But I kind of, like, I don't take it serious, man. Like, I think that's what people, like, fall back on, too, is because they take it so serious. Yeah. And then once they realize that progress is slow, they're like, fuck it. And, and I think that kind of messes with people too, because I know my wife will try and do it sometimes too. And she gets bogged down by the progress. Like she's For like, me, I want results right now. Right? Yeah, that's that's how she is too. It's like this it's not gonna happen like that. Like, yeah, no, and it's just like it's I think it's just like a, a mindset. It's that instant gratification. And you're just like I'm used to saying, I want this and then you get it. Yeah. Dude, I'm still oh. like, I'm like a quarter of the ways done. So I didn't meet. This is, um, no, I didn't meet either. This I, is way harder than I thought. I thought I could just pound it. For that, like that's the, what she said. Yeah, but no, no I can't. No, I'm, and it's, it's, for me, it's the flavor. It's the taste. Like I can, yeah, I'll try it. I am going to go ahead and try a fruit punch. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> Dude, there was like a part of like part relief. You're like, oh, that tastes kind of good, and yeah. then you can't went down, and you're just oh. no. At first, it oof. That looked like alien just going down here. Down here. That's so bad. Right. <laughs> it tastes like kiwi, but like shit old kiwi. Yeah, it's like I feel like the guys who made this drink made it when they were already drunk. No, you know what it tastes like? Huh. It tastes like vault. Like, okay, like I vault? It. 
Ugh. But like one that you left out, like with oh. the, the 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 fucking the little tap, the cap off. There you go. The fizzies start to get away from it. And it... No, the flavor tastes like it's carbonated. It's weird, but the flavor tastes like fucking gross old soda. Yeah, I can. But it's carbonated. That. It's like an old soda, and it doesn't. It doesn't taste like soda anymore. It's like a. It's off. like that, that corn syrup at that point. Like, I feel like Four Loco would be great if you've already had a couple of beers. Because you know how beer has that like bitter taste, and you're just like, ah, I'm gonna get I think Four Loco should be enjoyed as shots. I can see that. Because you can chase it down with better tasting. Yeah. Foods. But shit, it could almost be a mixer drink. Just dab it in. I'm sorry that you saw that. It's dab just. It in. I can't even talk anymore. No, it's fine, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna chug this. I'm gonna finish this shit. So, okay, so there might be a, a moment of silence here. And what you will hear in the next minute or so is us finishing these drinks. Dude, I have so much more than you. Bro. I have a lot too. <laughs> and then I, I'm just, I wanna prepare whoever's listening right now that you will hear silence, chugging, and probably disappointment. But in honor of this episode that we put off a week, I think we should finish these drinks now. No regrets. Oh, fuck. Oh. I couldn't! I can't. <laughs> oh, no. dude. I can see the bottom. There was so much. Uh. this last sip. <laughs> I can't do it, dude. Ugh. My body's rejecting me. This is why your dad left Frankie. This is why your dad oh, left Frankie. Pussy. Just kidding, my dad's still there, guys. He's, he's he didn't go anywhere. Oh fuck. Poor locals taste disgusting. They really do. Like my body does not want me to do this. I put oh. Remember how I told you I put my head back? Yes. I think it was because I started chugging this and that's when I blacked out. I, I honestly feel a lot of regret. <sighs> for saying I want to finish it. Shut up, bitch, drink. <laughs> Did you just finish it? Yeah. Holy shit. You I finish. told you, dude, I chugged it. I couldn't finish it, like, in one go. Dude, you're dude. still going. Come on, just go. Come on. You got it. You're almost there, dude. You hear that? I can finish it. There's a castle game anywhere. Yeah, it's just like, dude, shut up. Drink. Yeah, neck. Oh. Yeah. I have never seen your face so red in my life. Yeah, that's one of the downsides of being so white. <laughs> uh, if I get embarrassed, if I think something's funny, um, I don't know if I'm aroused. Um, <laughs> but basically, um, yeah, man, my face reacts, and it just goes fucking beat red. I also want to make it known that um, <sighs> fuck, I don't drink often. Me neither. Really, so, like, oh. Uh, I'm already drunk. I'm drunk. So, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. And I feel... I feel... I feel, feel kind of bad. Like, I feel gross, like I can't breathe right now. <laughs> I feel dirty. I feel oof. Oh my god. Um, aliens, dude. Aliens. Uh, yes, aliens. I'll get into that in a moment. But I feel a little bad uh, because I have a date night with my wife tonight. But, oh, fuck. but but she she knew she knew about the four loco. And, and then I was like, hey, we should go have like sushi tonight. And oh fuck, I feel terrible right now. I mean, I feel good. What time tonight, dude? Because, like... No, no, no. We're not going until, like, 7 or 8. Okay. So I've got a few hours to recover. Okay. Um, and, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to get the 4 loco out of the way, so I could just... It's all downhill from here. Okay, so that means the shots of, of whiskey are out of the way, right? I would say yes. Um, Good one. I think this 4 loco definitely took more of a toll than I expected. Yes. Because... Um, I'm still... I gotta, I gotta wait and sit for it to completely hit me. I don't know. I know this last Chuck Fest is gonna hit me in waves. Um, oh, yeah. Because, I mean, it's been a little under 40 minutes since we opened those. And, holy shit, I have not felt this way so quickly. 
I don't think ever. Yeah. Um, so, so aliens. I I do think aliens exist. I don't think they've come to our planet. Mainly just because um, I mean I love physics, I love science, I love all of that shit like astronomy, and it just appears as of now with our current technology that it would take so much fucking effort to get to another planet that why would you go there and then pretend not to be there like if you're gonna go there you're like we put in all this fucking effort i'm gonna say hi to these goddamn people no mark zuckerberg <laughs> dude what if they're slowly taking over us as a civilization through social media well okay i mean i i could see that like if there it's, it's more of a conspiracy thing just kidding, Mark Zuckerberg, but, you're not a lizard person. I think you're a human being. You just had like 20 you, million pictures taken of you. And, and you're world. just totally fucking awkward, too. Yeah. Like, dude. Mark Zuckerberg, take, like, you have, you're fucking rich. Did you see him when get, he drank like, water? Yes, dude. And I mean, I get it. He had like a bunch of people taking his picture, but it's like, get a life coach, man. Learn how to be cool. Like, prep yourself. I don't like, think you can prep yourself for like I want to say at least like 10 people taking pictures put yourself in that situation time and time again until it's not a big deal anymore you, dude how often though do you have to do that no 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 I mean even if it's in Congress though, even right? if it's fake yeah. like put yourself in a real he's rich enough to know, just pay people and watch to, them to pay like <laughs> actors to you know sit in a congressional panel and take a bunch of pictures of him and pretend. Do you want to waste money on like on stuff like that when you can buy? When you've got like... that much money, yes. How much money does Mark Zuckerberg make anyway? At this point, he's just, he's got in the billions. I'm sure. I really hope those pigeons aren't being picked up on this recording. Those goddamn fucking pigeons. But Mark Zuckerberg has probably in the billions worth of dollars, either in stock or liquid funds or no, not liquid funds. Because at this point, when you're that rich, you're investing your money in other companies, you know, you're, you're making the money work for itself. But like lizard people. But like lizard people though. <laughs> but the lizard people though. Oh, no, no. 69.4 billion USD dollars. Holy shit, I think that's more than Bill Gates. No, 91.2 billion. For Bill Gates? Yeah. Fucking hell. That's ridiculous. Look at Elon Musk. Look at Elon Musk. Look at all those chickens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Um, I used to have a Vine account. Yeah? yeah Before I, it got shut down? Yeah. No, when it was, when it was coming out. Um, oh, fuck. I, like, I don't even close my eyes. Yeah, no. I'm pretty drunk, to be honest. With you. Oh, fuck. I'm in the singing drunk face. Oh, God. This is bad. This is pretty bad. I'm going into unknown territory. I think we're at the peak. I don't think we're going to get anywhere. I really hope not. I don't think so. Yeah. I'm going to have to take a break between episodes and go take a piss. Oh, no, yeah. That for sure. Because, like, I had a high C on the way over here. High C? Yeah, What dude. is this, 1994? Juice. <laughs> you see, Ben. <laughs> well, you weren't even alive in 94, were you? No, I wasn't. Fuck you. I was probably swimming around in my dad's like stack. God damn it. I was born in England. Okay. Were you really? I can say I was an 80s baby, but I was literally born in the last month of 89. December 89. So I got less than a month of the 80s. Well, no, so. that's cool though, because like you got to live like my favorite part of the 90s, like growing up. Because like. Oh, yeah. I can't oh, remember. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, my Minnesota came out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, but like, no, seriously, I couldn't like. I love the 90s, like, the five years that I was part of it, like, <laughs> there was a lot of stuff that I enjoyed. Oh, fuck. Yeah. No, the 90s had some awesome stuff. I like the, I like how it was more about the cartoons and stuff. Yeah, the cartoons were awesome, like, um, what was it, Angry Beavers? Dude, fucking, I'm talking about, like, Two Stupid Dogs. Two Stupid Dogs was awesome. That was my favorite Ren one. Ren and Stimpy? I didn't like Ren and Stimpy. I like Ren and Stimpy. That one, honestly, going back to it, like, I think that one's, like, well, too mature for, like, the audience when well, it came out. Yeah, when you go back to it from now, then it's like, holy shit, what the hell? But as a kid, you don't know half the stuff that's going on, so you just laugh at their funny voices. Dude, I didn't even like it. Like, I don't like Ren and Stimpy. Oh. 
unpopular opinion, but I think um, Ren and Stimpy is like one of the. I liked. I mean, I, it's one of those building cartoons. Like it, we wouldn't have a lot of the stuff that we have today without it. Yeah. But I think I don't like Ren and Stimpy. I like Hanna Barbera. I don't know what that or is. Hannah, Hannah, I think it's Hanna Barbera. It's like the Cartoon Network before Cartoon Network. So like the Flintstones, the Jets. Oh, and it had like yeah, yeah. I just had I think it's Snorks, stuff. Snorks, stuff like that. Like I, I remember shit like Real Monsters. Odd Real yeah. Monsters was Odd good. Monsters, yeah. I, I can't remember that. Like, yeah, that their like names, but I remember. No, the, the one that would carry his eyeballs in his hands. Yeah, that was wasn't his was. name? Uh, you know, I'm not even gonna, not even gonna attempt to remember it. Yeah, and it's gonna be. Everybody's gonna be like, no, we he was an, so and so. We don't have an audience yet, so it's okay. We can make mistakes now. That's true, and no one's gonna comment shit. That's Ben telling you to start commenting <laughs> so we know you're there. No, I know. Easiest way to get the right information on the internet is to say the wrong information first. And then someone will be like, no, it's actually this. Oh, okay. All right. At least that's what I've learned no. from my experience on Reddit. On Reddit? Yeah. People are always like, they're like oh, uppity. Reddit are so mean. They can get uppity, man. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm I sad that I don't have any more Four Loco now. Right? We should go get more. No, we can't go get more. Um, but, um, <laughs> no, dude, because I posted a few of my original YouTube videos on, on like, our woodworking, our, you know, DIY and shit, and people just tore it apart, man. Really? And I'm just, like, I'm just trying to make, like, YouTube videos about making a bench. Like, I'm not a master woodworker, obviously. This is a hobby. Yeah, and for people, people that like, can't do it. Like, you should have done this and that, and you fucking suck. And I'm like, well, fuck you too man like see and that's i think that's why i don't check out the comments or views and stuff yeah no and i shouldn't have i should never check them out because i got like i was like oh man i'm a youtuber i'm gonna download youtube studio and then it would give me notifications every time somebody commented which is cool was first let me try that again which at first was cool um and then i started getting the really nasty comments and I was like, man. Yeah, fuck you. You didn't use two tools, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, you've seen the video. Yeah, so. <laughs> Ben. And dude, I still get com- I mean, I found a way to turn off the notifications, but I still get comments to this day of people being like, you need to change the title. It's not two tools. And I'm like, fuck you. Well, it's three tools. Thank it, you. It's, Me, it's myself. probably like ten tools. Like, but I meant power tools. So why don't you change it? I should have. I should just change it. You know what? No. Don't change it. Yeah. Don't, dude. Because there's a few people. There's a few people out there who say, great job. I love your videos. Don't do it for them. Do it for yourself. It's your content, not theirs. It's true. It is my content, and I did it with two tools and some minor sub tools. Hashtag two power tools. Hashtag. That video was posted over a year and a half ago. (laughs) Almost two years ago, and I'm still going on about this shit. I should, I, I have not made any videos. Well, there goes my beanie. <laughs> I, and, and the only thing I was really worried about for this episode, for these episodes, is that we get to a point where it's not even fun for the listener. You know, you know like when you're drunk enough, everything's funny. And you're just like, oh my god, you just dropped your hat. That's the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. And then the people are listening, and they're just like, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard about. I know, if you made it this far, kids, just wait until the next episode. Dude, kudos. And next episode, you're going to hear just the downfall. All right, yep, no, right now, um, if you are under the age of 18, please don't watch the next episode. No, I'm just kidding. Do what you want. I want everyone to learn to do bad stuff from them. Yeah, I would take that responsibility that you were influenced by us. No, don't don't drink. No, don't for real. Drink if anything, yourself. if anything, learn from 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 what we say is question everything. Totally, I'm a total skeptic. I am too. When it comes to everything, I I will always question something. I don't take something at face value. I'm just like, oh, cool, that makes sense. No, no. I'm just like that's bullshit. How did why why what, what did you think to make you make you say that? I really don't know. I, I just oh no 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 that's just like if someone comes up to me with like this information like um oh, for example I can't think of one 
I, I honestly mine stem from religion like my skepticism because I tried so hard for a little while um, to to believe to, to you know I, I went all in I was like I'm gonna believe this shit when I went to TCU which is of course Texas Christian University I was like I'm gonna be religious I'm gonna believe in God wait and then, that's a religious school? yeah well that's a private school you went to a private school for, for college? Yeah. Holy that's shit. Terrible idea. Uh, because it was expensive. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, you met your wife there. Yeah. No, so, I mean, I regret nothing. Um, I met my wife there, which was honestly the best thing in my life. But I don't even know what I was talking about. Skepticism. But skepticism, so, yes. So I really tried to believe. I, I really tried to believe in God and, and be religious. I was like, I can do this. And there was always something in the back of my mind that was just like, none of this is real. This is all bullshit. Like, the, the Bible was written by a bunch of saints over 200 years after Jesus died. It's like, they're just picking and choosing the stuff that they want to add and it doesn't make any sense yeah no I totally get where you're coming from I completely understand what you're saying and it's cause like I, I kind of have that outlook on life and in general like where yeah. I meet someone they tell me something and it's just like okay I can't really take you at face value because I don't trust you so I want to question you but I'm also kind of learning as like an adult like you just kind of think you just kind of Take it as they come, like, you know. Yeah. If that's what they say that happened, like, well, I don't believe you, but I have no choice but to because, you know, I mean, that's I respect what, you. What you're saying. Yeah. And, and it's so complicated, too. I mean, like, some people are doing it for their own motive. Some people are actually telling the truth, and they just get fucked because everybody's skeptical. Mm-hmm. Or other people are just full of shit. Yeah. And they, no, and they I, just like to stir the pot. Dude, I think religion religion is going to be like the reoccurring segment for this one. Right? I, yeah. I think so. I think uh, your daughter really messed you up, man. It just, it totally caught me off guard. Which I can, like, Cause, cause, I, mean, I can like, just I, imagine. I was not, I, I of course wanted to introduce her to religion, but yeah. not for a few years. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, she's learning to write. She's learning what math is. Dude, but you like, gotta understand, though. Like, the, the fucking thing that gets me... Because, okay, we're in two different parts of our life. But, like, i kind of been re- raising my brother and her sister for quite some time. Yeah. Uh, this isn't anything new, what I'm doing now. So, you know, like, growing up, you, you, you think of your brother and sister as stupid younger kids. <laughs> like, whatever. No, dude. Kids are smarter than they fucking let themselves, like, appear I, to be. I, I'm finding that out every day. Yeah, dude, it's nuts. That's why, like, oh, fucking expect the unexpected. Because, yeah. like, I've been raising my brother and sister since, like, middle school. So, like, I've been doing this for a while. Kids are fucking, they're insane. Experience. They're smart. I mean, even my, shit, my little one, she's starting to, like, carry a stool around with her because she can't reach everything because she's not tall. Yeah, right. That's fucking, that's <laughs> fucking awesome. And she's two. And I'm just like, how the fuck did you, did you put that together? Like, but no, they're yeah. Dude, it's crazy. It's crazy. Kids are nuts. I'm still kind of tripping out they, too. Like, they, they don't get as, yeah, they don't get as enough credit, as much credit as they deserve. Yeah, because no. I mean, like, I don't. She put it together. However, she heard about God. She put it together that she could come to me for more information. Yeah, and, and I'm over here sitting here like a dumbass. Like, oh, she's not gonna ask me about that for like three or four years. You I was totally unprepared and yes. it's just like what else do I need to start preparing for and my, my wife brought up this point like when is she going to start asking where babies come from and, and dude that is the one thing you can't get prepared for I know but I gotta have something ready to go like something waiting in the wings to be like alright well tell her that when 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 you kiss when you kiss someone because now it's socially acceptable to say boys or girls but I don't want to lie to that's the thing. Tell her the truth, man. If you kiss, you get pregnant. <laughs> if you ever touch another human being, you will have a baby. If you hold hands for more than ten seconds, you will have another baby. Damn, that's how it happens. Like, well, I don't, I don't want to lie to her. I don't want to be one of those parents that's like, you know, abstinence is—you can never have sex until you get married. Because fuck 
I didn't do that. Dude, I don't even know how to approach that myself. Like, fuck. I had to figure that out on my own. And like, both my like, parents were. Honestly, though, you're thinking back to my, my parents, like, I cannot remember having that conversation with them. I didn't have this conversation with my parents until recently, to be honest with you. And it's like, I think they either avoided it altogether or they minimalized it so much that we just never had the discussion. That, that, the discussion, I can't even remember it because it was so insignificant. What I can remember, and this was kind of a funny story, is when my wife unknowingly dropped that we were having sex to my mom. And oh. th- this was while we were still dating. And we we were living in Fort Worth and we had gone to visit my parents for the weekend or something like that. And um, I, I forget what we said. We were both talking to my mom. We were just kind of chilling, like just talking to her. And she, I can't remember exactly what she said. But she was like, oh, well, Ben knows a lot about that. And then she just walks away. And my mom is like, so you guys are having sex? And I'm just like, fuck. I'm like, yes. <laughs> like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, she she did not even realize what she just said was basically admitting that we were fucking. And what do you remember what she said exactly? I, I can't remember what she said exactly. But it was something basically on the matter. Like, we were, we were talking about something and my wife was just like, yeah, well, Ben knows how to do that. Or, like, he knows what to do, you know, down there. And it just basically released that I've fucked before. <laughs> like, and then she, the, the funny thing was, she just walked away. And then she comes back like five minutes later after I've already been like, yeah, we, we, we're having sex. And <laughs> Jasmine's like, what? What's wrong? <laughs> and I'm just like, you basically just told my mom we're having sex. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> oh, that was such an accident. I didn't mean to do that. I'm like, uh huh. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for giving me that opportunity to have such an awkward conversation with my well, mom. Well, tit for tat. <laughs> So, um, recently, very recently. Recently? Like, within the past year? Within the fucking past two months, three months. Dang. So, I've always been kind of, like, more mature for my age. Yep. Don't rub it in. So, (laughs) my mom never really, like, gave me any kind of talk. She just kind of assumed I knew. She was like, you're a dude. Just don't stick your dick in crazy. It was, if anything, you fucking wear a condom. But it wasn't anything like that because, to be honest with you, like in high school, I never hung out with chicks. Like, they would, like, I only saw girls, like, throughout the day. I hung out with them throughout the day. I dated them, but I never fucking told my mom because my mom is very intimidating. I don't really. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. My mom's, like, super. I guess, like, my mom's old school. So, like, I didn't want to scare, like, if I bring a girl home, I want to make sure that she's the one, like, I don't want my mom to fucking like really She's got some like trailer trash. Like. Yeah, like no, this is like you know what? Even if your mom's crazy, like I can deal with that. That's what I want to make sure I find first because like my mom, it's a whole nother can of worms, dude. Like <laughs> she is, an, she's a very intense person. I love my mom to death, but like there's just some situations that she can fucking create out of no, like out of nothing. And we, Oof. it's it's nuts, dude. Mexican moms are great. I love them so much. Yeah, I know. I've had. A little bit of experience with that. Yeah, so... Oh, fuck. I don't want to close my eyes. Okay. Yeah, no. Don't do no, that. Don't no. do that. So, um, the other day, I, I started talking to this girl, right? Through Tinder. Thank you, Tinder, for existing. Oh, snap. See, I, I always see Tinder from the outside looking in. Because Tinder came about when I'm already married. I'm like, that's fucking stupid. And then I no. And <laughs> Tinder is a great thing. Because, like, I'm already awkward, dude. I'm very awkward as is. So if I can hide that behind a keyboard. Right, and you have time to think about your texts and be like, okay, do I do I really want to say this? Yes and no. <laughs> Times are different, Ben. Really? Times are different, yeah. Um, so, okay, we'll finish the story and then we'll get into part two. We've got bathroom breaks or whatever. Yeah, I gotta piss like a motherfucker. I'm seeing this girl on Tinder, right? Yeah. Didn't work out, but... I'm leaving, and my mom starts interrogating me. Where are you going? Who are you going to be with? <laughs> what side of town are you at? You're 22. What the fuck? Thank you. Thank you. But for Mexican moms, it's a reoccurring thing. It's just like, I'm pretty sure it's like... Andale, like, mija. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, Michael. No, no, no. It's fine. But uh, yeah, dude. Um, So I told her. I was like, I'm going to go see this girl. I'm going to hang out in her house, whatever. Because I'm a lie to my mom. Like, I don't have a reason to lie. Yeah. She was like, okay, do you need a condom? I was like, what the fuck did you just ask me? 
She's like, do you need a condom? I was like, no, no, I don't. Thank you. I have my own. That's surprising. Oh, man. But I saw the condom because she told me to do something. And it was like, hey, can you go into this drawer and get this thing for me? And I was like, sure. I did it. I went in the drawer and I saw the condom. Me closed the drawer and I was like, I don't want to see this anymore. But I found what I found. So I gave it to her and left it as is. <laughs> so when she asked me what she's doing or if I needed a condom, I told her no, I bought my own. I look at her and I was like, what the fuck are you doing with condoms? Like, that's disgusting. You're gross. You, you're, you're a mom. You can't do that shit. Exactly. And she was like, oh, I'm trying to man. protect my goodies. Oh. <laughs> I was like, don't ever use that word you're again. Like, you don't have goodies. God damn it. But oh, yeah, okay. immediately right after that, we had the birds and the bees and that was the Ooh. first time I ever had that talk. Okay, that... that and I think that's when we get a uh, ending place. That, that leads me into two stories. Um, the first one it was fairly short. It was about my grandparents. And I love them to death. Well, my grandpa, grandfather fought, passed away a few years ago. Yeah. Great guy, saint. And my grandmother's still alive. And she's like kicking. She's going to outlive us all. Um, one day I was looking for batteries in their house. We had gone up to Arkansas to visit them. And I pulled up on one of their nightstands and I found condoms. Oh, that's disgusting. And just immediately... Oh, God. Immediately, like, close the drawer, never talk about it again. And then I'm thinking on the car ride home, like, they're in their 80s. Um, or 70s at that time. I was like, the fuck do they need condoms for? I still to this day have no idea and I'm not gonna go ask my grandma hey, she's, ben, she's I very got you. I got she's you she's very very religious I am like I am not gonna be like hey grandma what's with the condoms <laughs> I'll uh, tell you why Ben why are you ready Ben I'm as I'll ever be Ben the water works don't work like they used to <laughs> and that's what I was afraid of that it was it was for the motion in the ocean. Yep. And <laughs> on that note, if you made it this far, thanks for joining us. We'll okay. save the second story for the yep. next I, episode. I will save the next episode of the sorry, the next story for the next episode. And if you would like to be a part of more of this belligerence, go ahead and check out episode four, which is I regret everything. We are full on four loco. Thank you for being a part of this transition. And we'll see you in the next one. Alright, take it easy.